Allison, you're chasing the story. Just how easy is it to sink a trawler? Trawler. Or a trawler. Well, on Wednesday <laughs> off the coast of Manasquan, a 68 foot trawler was sunk for the New Jersey artificial reef. The boat was used for decades and then decommissioned in 2013. So the New Jersey artificial reef is important for a lot of different reasons. The main one being it gives fish a place to hide from predators and kind of develop. The reef is extremely important because it creates marine habitat. The ocean is a desert. If there were no water there, it would look like a desert. So this is especially important to recreational fishermen and the New Jersey economy. Recreational fishing in New Jersey is a gigantic business. It's a $2 billion industry that we have annually here. This vessel is going to go down on a portion of the reef that's designated for recreational fishing only. So our fishermen will love going out there and having the opportunity to fish on this area of the reef. My big camera guy. <sighs> Now, the artificial reef program was actually suspended for around seven years due to conflict and lack of funding. Now that it's up and running, though, they've been doing really well this past year. This is our fourth vessel that we're already deploying this year. We have another six potentially to go down this year, so it's going to be a really active and great year for the reef program. So getting the boats ready for the ocean floor is expensive and requires a lot of manpower. We're talking the boat has to be stripped of any paint because it contains lead, riggings, engines, and the list goes on. So once the DEP and the Coast Guard inspect it, it's ready to be sunk. The Austin was actually funded by the Grady family who lost their son, John Grady III, in 2007. Some friends actually mounted a cross on top of the boat. What they did is they engraved it with their names and, and thoughts, and then the cross is actually affixed to the top of the wheelhouse of the ship, and that'll be there forever. So the total sinking, I would say, took around two hours. It was a 20-minute ride out to sea, and then once the boat didn't start sinking, they had to bring the fire hoses out, spray it no down, kidding. and eventually it took, you know, weight and went down. Have you ever been that far out at sea? No, only booze cruises. I think, it's deep down. I think this is awesome for, like you said, the economy to get, you know, the fisher, the, bring back the fish essentially and have a place for them to flourish and grow. I also think I've seen in places like Barbados, a lot of different um, yeah. uh, Caribbean islands yeah. maybe. Although in the Bahamas, the water's a lot clearer, so you true. can see the boat. True, that's true. Off the coast of Manasquan. Now, how much did the boat weigh? That's what I was waiting for. Yep. However much 68-foot trawlers weigh. It never gets old. It re honest to God, never gets old.